great things you have done. We will give thanks to the Lord for the great things you have done. Sing thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the great things you have done. Sing thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the great things you have done. Come on, let's go. One, two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing down. It's all we've come to do. Sing casting crowns, sing casting crowns, lifting hands, lifting hands, bowing hearts, saying, bowing hands. It's all we've come to do. Sing, casting, crown, sing, casting, crown, lifting hands, sing, lifting hands, bowing hearts, sing, bowing hands. It's all we've come to do. It's all we've come to do. Sing, I don't I sing, I don't I don't I sing, I don't I don't I sing, I don't I. You reign, you reign, you reign. Up those hands and give him praise. Exalt him. Exalt him. This is the first day in the month of July. Can you exalt Jesus? He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Give him praise from your heart. Give him praise from your heart. Give him praise. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glorious God. Beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, glorious God, beautiful, beautiful King, excellent God, excellent God, we bow, we bow before. Glorious God, glorious God, beautiful, beautiful, excellent God, excellent God. We bow, we bow before your throne, bow before your throne, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, worship at your feet. Bow before your throne, ah, before your throne, you are the glorious God. Make it loud. Bow before your throne, sing. Bow, bow before your throne. Worship at your feet, sing. Worship at your feet. Bow before your throne, sing. Bow before your throne. You are the glorious. You are the glorious God. Your name is our. Omega C. Omega. Oh, 
for man i say celebrate jesus the one that has kept you for the first half of this year it is not by accident that you're beginning the second half on a very day like this on a communal service day. let's celebrate jesus indeed god has been good unto us great is his name hallelujah the lord bless you really good in jesus name please you may be seated choir god bless you you are welcome to the communion service and i pray that as you have come today the Lord will bless you really good. It will meet you at the point of your needs. It will turn every ugly situation around for good. And it will cause your joy to abound. It is your season for the next level. And you shall manifest it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. You are welcome to Faith Clinic. And it's of course also our communion service. And this happened to be the second half of the year. We just began on a day like this. And we are beginning such a day on a communion day. God bless you. Quickly before we begin to pray and administer our communion, I want to share briefly with us God's word for today. What God has for us in stock today. And by extension, I want to say happy new month to every one of us. Amen. All right, quickly tonight, I will be sharing with us on a message I have titled, The Foundation for Divine Healing and Health. The foundation for divine healing and health. Now as we journey in this second phase, I believe that God has a word for somebody tonight and God is interested in your divine healing and health. Can I hear a better name? Amen. Amen. And to begin today's teaching, I will set it on a scripture, just a verse of the scripture and I will be taken from the third John chapter 1 from verse 2. 3 John 1, 2. God's word reads, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Be in health even as the soul prospereth. So God's ultimate desire for you and I is that we should prosper, we should be in good health, just as our soul prospereth. Remember, we're speaking on the foundation for divine health and healing. Now the subject of divine healing appeared to be mis misunderstood by several persons. Some school of thought believe that oh, when we say divine healing, mm, maybe things that we were taught in the time past or things that happened in the scripture that were recorded for us as stories for us to read about. Some don't even believe in it. And those who even care to believe in it just believe that really does, will it happen to me? Will it happen to someone like me? But that is never the case. If you read those word in Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 8, he said, Jesus is the same yesterday, is the same today, and the same forever. So if it means that God has done it in the time past, it means he can do it now, and he can still do it tomorrow. 
So divine healing and health is still your inheritance in Christ. No wonder God's word in Malachi chapter 3 from verse 6 said, For I am the Lord, I change it none, therefore you sons of Jacob. You are not consumed. He's the same God. He never changed. It's all the same. He remained the same. He never changed. Now, one who asks, if really divine healing exists, can it happen to me? Yes, it can happen to you. All that matters is that you place a demand for it. If you place a demand for it, it can happen to you. Now, may I quickly say this as we proceed? When we talk about divine healing and health, of course, God is expecting that we should be whole in our body and should be strong. But that is not the entire essence of divine healing as relating to our subject today. If, you're, if you don't have money in your pocket, I think that is sickness of the pocket, right? If for a day you cannot afford to eat, that is serious sickness. So you require healing for your finances. So don't, don't, let's don't narrow this down. What we're talking about, divine healing ahead, you say, oh, thank God I'm not among those people that we're talking to tonight. After all, me, I can move my leg, I can move my hand. No. Let's broaden our mind and receive God's word as it comes. So as it pertains to us, connect to it and believe that God's word will do you good, really good in Jesus' name. Now, just like we're saying, divine healing is applicable as much as you place demand on it. That was exactly what happened in the case of the blind Bartimaeus. If you read God's word in Mark chapter 10, verse 46, blind Bartimaeus could just have sat down, believing after all, is it not Jesus Christ of Nazareth they said he's passing by? He knows I'm here, so if he's interested in me getting healed, he should heal me. But what did he do? He cried out. So God is expecting that you should cry out tonight. And as you cry out in the place of prayer, he will hear you, and he will grant answers to all your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Now quickly, because of time, I will rush through what I call the foundation for your divine healing and health. Now what are these foundations for your divine healing and for your health? Number one of such foundation is what I call the covenant. Can I hear you say the covenant? Yes, the covenant is number one foundation for your divine healing and health. Every child of God is connected to the Abrahamic covenant through Jesus Christ. As long as you receive the lordship of Jesus Christ, you are connected to the Abrahamic covenant. And of course, we know about the Abraham. I'm sure we know he was a, such a rugged man. At the age of 75, he was called out of his father's house. When he was almost 100, he led an army and defeated the army of five nations. A man of 100 years. When he was over 120, he trekked up to Mount Moriad. And there he bounded up a teenage boy. A man of 120. He had strength to bind up a teenage boy. Even when Sarah died at 140, Abraham was still vibrant enough to marry another wife. And that wife gave birth to six sons for him, as recorded in the scripture. Her name was Kertu. That shows the strength that was available even through Abraham. And you and I are connected to that covenant. So the number one foundation for your divine healing and health is the covenant. Of course, we know that Isaac was also a very strong and healthy young man. So on the ground of Abrahamic covenant, you and I, we are entitled to strength, we are entitled to energy, we are entitled to divine vitality. Several scriptures you can read, Acts chapter 3 from verse 25. You can as well read Genesis chapter 4 from verse 28. I mentioned Acts 3, 25, Genesis 4, 28. You can as well read Genesis chapter 3 from verse 13 to 14. You can as well read Genesis chapter 25 from verse 7 to 8. It tells you more of this. Quickly, if I have more to read, just a scripture, maybe Acts chapter 3 from verse 25. You say, Ye are the children of the prophet, and the covenant of God was made through your father, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all thy kindred of the earth be blessed. Through the covenant of Abraham, he said, Through you, all the seed shall be blessed. What other foundation do we require for our divine healing and health? 
Another key foundation that we require for our divine healing and health is what I call scriptural promises. Scriptural promises are bound for you and I, and they are the foundation for our divine healing and health. Scriptural are bound from Genesis to Revelation that gives us ground to expect divine healing on the basis of our relationship with God. So in as much as you have a relationship with Christ, your divine healing and health is setting and it is confirmed. Read Exodus chapter 33, Exodus 23 rather, from verse 25. Exodus 23 from 25, he say, And ye shall serve the Lord thy God, he shall bless the bread and the water, he will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast thy young, from verse 26 now, none be buried in the land, the number of the days I will fulfill. God's promises to us. Psalm 107 from verse 20. Psalm 107, 20. He sends his word just as his word is coming to you now. And that was the word that brought about their healing. Scriptural promises for our divine healing and health. Jeremiah 30 from verse 17. I will restore health unto you and ye shall be healed. When God will restore health unto you. That is scriptural promises for you. When you are down, I will restore and to thee. I will heed thee of thy wound. Jeremiah 17, 14. Hear me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Scriptural promises. To be very blank, he now opened the white check for you in Matthew 7, 7. He said, ask to be given to you. Seek, you will find it. Knock, it will be opened unto you. These are scriptural promises for our divine healing on earth. What other foundation exists for our divine healing on earth? The third one is what I call sonship. Sonship is a divine foundation for your healing on earth. If you read John chapter 1 from verse 12, he said, as many that receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. You and I are the sons and the daughters of God. So your sonship is a key factor for your divine healing and it. So if you receive him, he said you become a power to become a son and a daughter of the Most High. Every child of God is like, is a son to him. In as much as you have received Jesus Christ, because he said we are joint heirs with him. So what it means is that Jesus Christ, that's my senior brother, whatsoever that is found in him is traceable to me. Whatsoever that was not found in him cannot be found in me. We are joint heirs with Christ. So if Christ could live in divine health and healing, so I can also live in divine health and healing. So you are the child of a lion. So you can't die like a goat. You are the child of an ego. So you can't, you can't be mingling with chicken because you are highly placed. For scriptural references, for lack of time, because I might not have to read all of, you can as well read Romans chapter 10 for verse 17. You can as well read 1 John chapter 3 for verse 2. As well, you can read Romans chapter 8 from verse 17. What other foundation exists for our divine healing and health? Lastly, before we begin to pray, is what I call the communion. Can I hear somebody say the communion? Of course, that is why we are gathered here tonight. The communion is also a device, also a key foundation for our divine healing and health. And what is the communion? The body and the blood of Christ that we are partaking in. So in as much as we partake in that body in the in the blood, he said we are automatically becoming that which he owns. Look at what God's word said in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame by what? The blood. So in as much as I take the blood of Jesus Christ, what am I taking? I'm taking victory into myself. So I become an automatic overcomer. They overcame by the blood. So if I take the blood, I am taking that thing that I need to become an overcomer. John 6, 
from verse 48 to 51. John 6, verse 48 to 51. He said, I, for emphasis, I'll just, lay, I'll just probably read from verse 51. He said, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. So what happens there? You partake of the body of Christ. You are receiving what? Life. Because he said, my body is life. So if I partake in the life, the body of Christ, I'm receiving life into me. So the communion is a foundation for our divine healing and health. No wonder evil Christ on the cross took all the pain, all the stripes he needed to take for our divine healing to be established. Every stripe that Christ took, took for a class of healness. I remember, I'm sure you will remember that the Jew has once mentioned that. Every stripe that he took, he took it for a particular class of illness that is ever associated with humanity. So your healing and divine health is established. Can I hear an amen? Now for all of this to happen to you, beloved, you must be on the Lord's side. You must know God. You must be saved. You must become a son and daughter of the Most High. You want to receive that ability to receive divine healing and health. Remember we said the healing and health we are talking about tonight is not peculiar to your body. Of course, God expects that we should be strong in our body. But in any area of your life that you are deficient, that you, are, that you require help from God, God is out there to reach out to you with divine healing and health in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, just before we begin to pray, I'm sure we are aware that our area prayer fast began today. So it means we're expected to begin the fast and the prayer today. So we'll commence with the area prayer fast for today and quickly we'll come back to the prayers as the Lord has laid my heart line for our teaching today and then we can quickly take the communion for sake of time. Can we be up now, our feet as we begin to appreciate God? Thank you, Father. Let's open our mind. Just begin to give God thanks. Father, thank you for your faithfulness over my life. For the past six months, you have been faithful. Father, thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness in our life over the past six months. Indeed, we judged you faithful. You have been so good to us, to our family, to our loved ones. Great is your faithfulness. Let's give God thanks. Let's go hear your voice. Be grateful. Be a grateful son and daughter. Appreciate him. Say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you for all that you have done. For all you are doing, and for that you are yet to do, Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Glory to your name on high. Let's say, Father, thank you for your grace over me and my family. I'm the nation. Father, thank you for your grace over me, over my family, over our nation. Father, thank you. We are grateful. We give you praise. Let's say, Father, thank you for your divine protection over me and my household and my nation. Father, thank you for protection we have enjoyed for you. Thus far, you have protected us. Thank you. Say, Father, thank you for your love. From the beginning of this year, 2021, you have been so faithful. Thank you for the love we have enjoyed from you. Father, thank you. Let God hear your voice. Be a grateful son. Be a grateful daughter. Let's again appreciate God. Let's say, Father, thank you for daily provision. For all the daily provision, Father, thank you. Thank you for all you have been providing for us on a daily basis. You've not allowed us to go starving, not begging for bread. Thank you for your daily provision over our lives. Again, let us our blessed Father, thank you for your covenant over our nation. We thank you for your covenant over our nation. Thank you, Lord God, for your covenant over our nation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let's again say, Father, thank you for your good plans to me, my family, my household. For the good plans you have in stock for us. Father, we say thank you. We are grateful. Thank you for your good plans and purpose towards our lives. Great is your faithfulness, Father. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Blessed be your name.
Let's again for us say, Father, thank you for your light that is shining over our nation already. Thank you for the light of God that is shining over our nation. We know it shall continue to shine brighter and brighter. And every form of darkness will be dispelled. Father, thank you for your light over our nation, over our life, over our family. We say thank you. We are grateful. Blessed be your name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Again, for today's prayer, we're going to be praying for our Father and the Lord, Daddy Gio, and Mommy Gio. We're also going to be praying for our provincial pastor, Pastor Kayo Dekwita, and every minister of God in this province. We're going to be praying for them, and that is the focus of today's prayer. Let's just lift up our voice and say, Father, thank you for what you have been doing in life of Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio. For all our provincial pastors, all the pastors in our province, Father, thank you for all you have been doing in their lives. We are grateful. Thank you, Father, for the life of Daddy Gio and Mama Gio. Thank you for our provincial pastors. Thank you for our area pastors. Thank you for our parish pastors. Thank you for all you have been doing in their lives. Thank you for what you have been using them to do. Greater works you will do, O God, through them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree it again, Father. We ask that you, they will continue to grow in grace. Lord, may your servants continue to grow in grace. On a daily basis, may they grow in grace, in ocean, in anointing. Father, release more grace upon them. May they grow in grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree the increase of the Holy Spirit upon them. Let's say, Father, we ask that the increase of the ministry of the Holy Spirit will rest upon them. We decree upon your servants. May your spirit rest upon them mightily. Thank you, Jesus. Father, increase them, O God, with ocean, with great strength to do more work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree that the oil of God upon them will be renewed and refreshed continually. Let's decree the oil of God upon that in Jew, Mommy Jew, all the ministers in our city, Father, it will be renewed daily. In all our, all our parishes, all our ministers, Father, we decree your oil upon them will be renewed daily. It shall be so by the power of your name. Let's decree again that they will rise strong in the place of ministry. To preach God's word with entrance, with abundance. Let's decree they will rise again and preach God's word with great utterance, with boldness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree divine protection upon them, upon their household, and upon all that concerns them, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Glory to your name on high. Blessed be your name on high. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, just like we have received God's word tonight on living a life of divine healing and health, we're going to be praying that that will be evident in our life henceforth and in all that concerns us. If you read God's word, like we recorded, uh, like we read also in Psalm 107, verse 13, he said he sent his word, and that was the word that brought about the healing. He sent his word, and the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Let's open our mouth. Let's say, Father, Father, we thank you for the word we have received tonight. May that word bring about our healing, our deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us have prayer. Father, for the word you have received from you tonight, May that word bring about our healing, our deliverance, our breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decree, may your word bring about our healing. May your word bring about our upliftment. May your word bring about our deliverance. By the power of your name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall be so. To the glory and praise of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's lift our voice again. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus, on the ground of covenants, scriptural promises, sonship, and the communion, I receive my healing. I walk in divine health right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I receive my healing in my finances. 
the healing that requires in my home, I receive it. Every healing I require, Lord God, I receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. On account of God of your covenant, on account of the scriptural promises towards us, on account of the sonship we rejoice in you. Father, I receive my divine healing. On account of the communion, I receive it tonight. My divine healing is complete. My divine healing is established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I receive my divine healing. Healing in my finances. Healing in my body. Healing all that pastimes me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive my healing. I am made whole by the power of your name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's say, Father, any unpleasant situation that followed me into this new month of Julia, as I receive the communion tonight, let that situation give way. In the name of Jesus, bring it to the greet. Anything that is ungodly or pleasant that followed me into this new month of Julia. I shall receive and partake in the communion tonight. Father, let it give way. Let it give way. Let it give way. Let it give way. In the name of Jesus, every ugly and unpleasant situation in our lives, we decree on account of the communion we are receiving tonight, we ask, let such situation give way. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be so. It shall be so. It is confirmed. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Again, we shall be saying, Father, as I partake in the communion tonight, I receive your mercy to catapult me to the next level. In the name of Jesus. Let's turn to prayer. It's a season of next level. Father, as I partake in the communion tonight, by your mercy, I receive divine grace to catapult me to the next level. I am moving to my next level. I am moving to my next level. Divine level. Divine increase. Divine increase. Next level of promotion. Next level of increase. Next level of increase. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Again, we shall be saying, every demonic chain holding me down in the spot be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, turn into prayer. Father, any form of demonic chain holding me back in the spot. I shall partake in this communion tonight. Father, I receive grace for a celebration. I decree so strange are broken by the power of your name. By your fire, do we decree such chains are broken. Such chains are broken. Such chains are broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name on high. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The chains are broken. We are set free. Our liberation is now. It's established. To the glory and praise of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You no, know, it's just a one hour service, so we want to be very time cautious. Otherwise, we can stay here in the next one hour. I will stay be praying. Several prayers have a line for today. But the Lord will bless us really good in Jesus' name. Now, quickly, let's come to our communion as we begin to back in the communion. Let me put this to you that this communion is the final arrest to everything in your life. Any form of unpleasant situation, this is the communion that you are taking tonight that will bring about a final rest to it. Anything that has been troubling your mind, troubling your finances, troubling your health, as you partake in this communion tonight, you are receiving a touch from God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree that these elements are blessed. As we partake in it tonight, we ask, O oh God, that this become the blood and the body of Christ. We ask that what you alone can do, you will do through this communion tonight. You will bless every life here present, and you will cause a divine transformation in our life. To the glory and praise of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.
Now, just as we begin to come up for the communion, as the usher will direct us to file up, we'll be taking the bread and the wine. As you take the bread, you can as well take it, or you hold on to the wine. We'll take the wine together. And your prayer is, as you take the body of Christ, you'll go say, Father, whatever represents affliction, sickness, pain, disease in my body, by this communion, it is neutralized in Jesus' name. That is your prayer. Let's begin to file up quickly. We are running out of time. Quickly, let's do this quickly. Father, as I partake in this communion, anything that represents affliction, sickness, disease, pain in my body, let it be neutralized in the name of Jesus Christ. I will read God's word to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11, 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night he was betrayed, took the bread, and verse 24, and when he has given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Quickly, let's take that. Choir, as you give us a solemn song. Precious Jesus. Your prayer is, Father, as I partake in this communion, Every sickness, pain, disease in my life, let it be neutralized in the name of Jesus. Precious Jesus, is a I thank you for your body broken for me. Remember all you've done for me. Your perfect sacrifice in victory. I remember all you've done for me. Oh my God, I worship you today. worship you today. Oh, I remember, I remember all you've done for me. Oh, your powerful sacrifice, your powerful sacrifice in victory. Oh, I remember, I remember all you've done for me. Oh, my God. I worship you today. I worship you. I worship you today. Oh, remember your prayer is I remember everything that represents affliction in my body. By this communion, I neutralize it. That is your prayer. I neutralize it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I remember, I remember all you've done for me. Oh my God, I worship you today. I worship you, I worship you today. What can work my sins away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious, oh, precious is the Lord. Oh, Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, 
Corinthians 11 25. After this manner, also he took the cup, and when he had supplied, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood, do this as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, you may drink. And your prayer is, Father, by this communion, I have received, may it become a defense against every onslaught of wicked in my life. Every onslaught of the wickedness against my life, Father, may this communion become a defense against it. Turn that into prayer quickly. Father, by this communion I have received, may it become a defense against every onslaught of the wicked against my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to your name on high. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we thank you for the privilege given to us to partake again in the communion tonight. We decree that as we have received it, O oh God, may the life of Christ come into us and dwell mightily in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that cannot be found in Christ because we have partake in this communion tonight. Father, such thing will not be found in us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The handwriting of any form of ancestral cause is cancelled by this communion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever that cannot be found in your maker, Christ, because you have received the blood tonight, I decree, such thing will no longer be found in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree anything that is working against your system, by this communion, it is flushed out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any form of trace of blood disease or any form of related disease in your body, on account of the communion you have taken tonight, I decree such thing they are flushed out of your system in the name of Jesus. Amen. By this communion you have received tonight, I ask it shall be a communion of total restoration unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything my heavenly father has not planted in your body, I decree by this communion, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Henceforth, the devil will see you and they will see the mark of God upon you. Amen. And they will flee Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anywhere you go, henceforth, you shall live in total health and total vitality. No more sickness shall be found in your body. In your finances, you will not be sick. In the name of Jesus. In your academics, you will not be sick. Amen. In your business, you will not be sick. Amen. In all that concerns you, you will live in total health. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Celebrate Jesus if you have a blessed. God bless. And well. But if you are doing that to God, go ahead and celebrate God. He is a faithful one. He has, the one. he has been the one that kept you from January even unto June. And now you are in July, which is a guarantee that you are going to be in December. Why not be on your feet and make a joyful sound to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the eternal rocks of ages. Lord, we thank you. Let's stretch our hands towards our pastor this evening. And let's begin to declare that this he has done today will not stand against him. God himself will visit him. It will be the wall of fire around him. Amongst the generals, it will not be found wanting. God himself will...